Okay, so that's the basic seven position stretch. Now that's a new carpet install type situation. Most of the time what we're focusing on is a restretch. Now in a restretch situation, it's a little different. Now normally in all new carpet installs, every piece of furniture is moved off. Sometimes in a restretch situation, you'll have buckles just in a third of the room. You're only doing it for aesthetics. You're not trying to get as much tension as the original install because you can't empty the room. You may have an attached hallway here. So you've got an attached doorway. You either have to cut the seam or work from the doorway in. So we're going to use position one as where the door, where the hallway and the door is. And I want to show you another thing we can do. Let me stop and disengage this and put a buckle or two into the carpet and I'll show you how to take them out. Okay, the next thing would be, let's say we have an attached hallway and it's attached to the doorway. There's a seam, it's seamed in. And we have a buckle in the room and it's a, a third of the way to the other end of the wall. Well, the first thing you have to understand is you cannot stretch the carpet when it's attached to the tackless strip. So you would knee kick, and I've already done this for illustrative purposes, you would knee kick the carpet and have it loosen all the way back past where the buckles are, like this, okay? If you don't have it past the buckles, you're not going to stretch it. I took it all the way to halfway in the room. Then you're going to lay the carpet back out many times. Oh, that actually released quite a bit of the buckle just by itself. But it's still pretty loose here, as you can see. So the next thing you would do is, of course, use your stretcher board. Now I want to point out that if I have a doorway here, and normally the padding goes this way, but I have it like this so the bolts damage the wood, okay? If I have an attached hallway here, many times there'll be little buckles outside that doorway. And I don't want to restretch necessarily the whole hallway. So what you can do, one of the cheats, is to take a foam block on either side of that door and put your stretcher board up on blocks. What this does is it allows the carpet to move underneath. So when you're stretching from this doorway here, and I'll show you, when you're stretching from this doorway in, Actioning the carpet. Hold on, get positioned well. Okay, now the carpet will actually move up under this gap and many times pull small buckles right at the seam or just outside the doorway into the hallway out. Oh, sometimes you may even disengage the carpet right around the door jams. To facilitate that so that it can move and stretch easily. That's one of the problems you see and it's one of the things you can accommodate without doing anything else. And if you only have buckles going from left to right like this, like that big buckle we had, all you're going to do is position six but not at a 45, you're going to do, or a 15 degree angle, you're going to do it at a straight angle. So again, now from disengaging the carpet, I see right up next to the wall my carpet has moved and it is again away from the wall. There is a gap there. So I've got this engaged, so I've got tension on it, but it's not in the right position. So again, the little divot in the knee kicker up against the stretcher like this. And I take that carpet and put it right back snug up against the wall. Now when I'm finished, I'll stretch this and make sure it's actually attached to the pins on the tackless. But at this point, I now have it up close so I don't have a gap. And I've got this power stretch so that I would take my spreader tuck the carpet in just as we did many times in the last, video, last part of the video. Push it onto the tackless, release the pressure, and move. And I would do that the same as I did last time, only in this position because I'm stretching it straight across the room, I don't have an angle on it. Same thing, push it into the gully, release the pressure, move it, and so on. Now this is very simple, right? Everybody's got this, we're good. Okay, so you can hear it popping onto the pins on the tackless there. 
and you just work your way across the wall. Once you finish stretching the length, you're going to have to reattach the width. So you can turn the stretcher either way. You're going to work towards the least encumbered wall. And remember, the tail will fit under certain items, like uh, under a bed to the back wall many times. Be careful you don't hit the uh, legs in the center of a large bed that might be giving it support. And you're not trying to stretch off of that. You'll break the bed. Make sure the tail is fully engaged at the wall.